Arizona to California to Texas, Kentucky, and even here in Anchorage. Please continue to be with us. If they go to school, a far school, school and I'm continuing to school, please be with all of our family members near and far. Please be with us on our job. Mr. Marcus at the post office, Mr. Ward, and everything that's going on with the post office. Um, please continue to bless us in and out of season. Thank you, Lord, for all things you've done for us. Let us have a great worship service today with answering the question, Who are you? In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Just time we have our scripture reading uh, by Brother Okar, Genesis 3 1 through 5, and Brother McDaniel. Lord Genesis 3, 6 through 10. Now the serpent was more subtle than any piece of the steel which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hate God, said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the minus of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. God and God. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened. And they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Amen. Amen. Amen.